Hey guys, welcome to Clarity Chart Analysis. In this channel, I'll be interpreting, analyzing the market structure, telling us our current position on the price market chart, and using the market structure to predict the next possible move of the market. But first, if you're new to this channel and you want to make money on both directions of the market, this channel is for you. Please subscribe, like, and put on the notification to be notified anytime I drop a new video. In this video, I'll be analyzing the OKB token which is currently rank number 30 on the coin market cap and it has a symbol of OKB. At the point of recording this video, the OKB is trading at the rate of $24 and it has a market cap of $1.4 billion and a fully diluted market cap of $7.1 billion. And guys, the OKB has about 60 million tokens in circulation. So guys, what is the OKB? OKB is a cryptocurrency released by the OK Blockchain Foundation and the Maltese Crypto Exchange. Okay, yes. the exchange is one of the largest in the world and currently ranks third in liquidity, fourth in trading volume, and provides a wide selection of trading peers. Okay, yes, is similar in many aspects to the cryptocurrency exchange giant Binance, but there are a few key differences. Okay, yes, platform has its own cloud mining service. The company has a more focused reach in providing options trading for users. Meanwhile, Binance strives to offer a broad range of cryptocurrency services globally. OKB is the OKS utility token that enables users to access the crypto exchange special features. The coin is used to calculate and pay trading fees, grant users access to voting and governance on the platform, and reward users for holding OKB. OKS has become a world-leading trading floor since its launch in 2017. The platform launched in the spring of 2017 and emerged as a offshoot from the original coin now focuses on exchanging fiat for why OKS focuses on crypto trading as a built-in API for algorithm trading. The exchange also gives user access to a multi-currency wallet and functions for margin trading. So guys, you can get the OKB token on OKS exchange on gits.io exchange on profits global on elbag exchange and any other exchange welcome to the okb usdt price market chart as you can see i've already mapped out my market structure i map out my major structure with color yellow which is my daily time frame and i map out my minor structure with color red which is my four hours time frame so guys the major purpose for this video is for me to analyze the market structure tell us our current position on the price market chart and also use the market structure to predict the next possible move of the market. But guys, let's have this behind our mind that after every break of structure, there's always a pullback. I'll be using these two tools to show us our move on the market structure. I'll be using the red tool to show us the bearish move. And I'll be using the green tool to show us the bullish move on the market structure. The OKB token was launched on the OKS exchange around August 2018. It was launched on the price of 3 points. $3. The first major break of structure we saw on our major structure was a break of structure to the upside. The boost took price from about $0.5, broke structure to the upside, and took price to about $4.3. And guys, after every break of structure, we should expect a pullback. Sure, we got a pullback. The BS took price from that point and pushed price back to about $1.6. After breaking structure to the upside, as long as this ILO that gave us this II was not taken out during the pullback. We should expect more break of structure to the upside. And guys, that's all we got. The boost to price $1.6, broke more structure to the upside, and took price back to about $7.2. And after every break of structure, we should expect a pullback. The BS took price from that point and pushed price back down to about $2. So, guys, if you notice, we've been seeing series of break of structure to the upside. We've been seeing series of higher highs and higher lows. I'll just skip to the last point and continue the analysis from that point. So guys, from this point, we saw another break of structure to the upside. The boost took price from $11.9, broke structure to the upside and took price back to about $44. And guys, expecting a pullback. Sure, we got a pullback. The BS took price from that $44.3, broke structure to the downside and took price back to about $9.5. And guys, remember what I used to say on this channel. Anytime you have double break of structure, a break of structure to the upside, and a break of structure to the downside, that shows that has been a change of character. 
the higher high that gave us this lower low we should go mark it out because price will definitely go back to that supply zone that gave us the second break of structure and from that point we we'll see a significant reaction and guys that's all we saw price went back to the supply zone before we continue seeing more break of structure to the downside so guys expecting a pullback sure we got a pullback the boost took price from that 9.4 dollars and pushed price back to about 19.8 dollars and guys as long as this iii that gave us this lower low was not taken out during the pullback we should expect more break of structure to the downside sure the bs came back took price from that 19.6 dollars broke more structure to the downside and took price back to about 8.4 dollars guys expecting a pullback the boost took price from that 8.4 dollars broke more structure to the upside and took price back to about 25.3 dollars and guys expecting a pullback the bs took price from that point pushed price back to about 10 dollars and guys do you notice that this is another double break of structure break of structure to the downside and break of structure to the upside guys if you notice i map out the demand zone that gave us the second break of structure and price came back to that demand zone before giving us another significant reaction so guys expecting more break of structure to the upside because the lower low that gave us this ii was not taken out during the pullback so the boost took price from that 9.6 dollars broke more structure to the upside and took price back to about 31.7 dollars and guys expecting a pullback sure we'll go a pullback the bs took price from that point and pushed price back down to about 19.5 dollars the boost came back took price from that point and broke more structure to the upside and took price back to about 34 dollars and guys expecting a pullback sure we'll go a pullback the bs took price from that 34 dollars push price back down to about 18 dollars breaking another structure to the downside so guys if you notice there are series of lower low and lower high I'll just skip to the last structure and continue the analysis from that point so guys from that point we just another break of structure to the downside the bs took price from 23.2 dollars broke structure to the downside and took price back to about 9.1 dollars and guys what do we expect we expect a pullback sure we'll go a pullback the boost took price from that point and broke structure again to the upside took price back to about 24 dollars so guys what's our current position on the okb usdt price market chart as you can see we just broke a structure to the upside we're expecting a pullback guys for us to be sure that we're on the pullback we expect this swing that gave us this iii to be taken out but as long as it's not taken out we are still on the impulsive phase so guys let's move to our four hours time frame to analyze our minor structure so guys the first break of structure we saw was a broke of structure to the upside the boost took price from 9.5 dollars broke structure to the upside and took price back to about 15.9 dollars and guys we expected a pullback sure we got a pullback the bs took price from that point and pushed price back down to about 14.2 dollars expecting more break of structure to the upside the boost took price from 17.2 dollars broke structure more to the upside and took price back to about 23 Point three dollars expecting a pullback the bs took price from that point broke structure to the downside and took price back to about 14.8 dollars and sure guys the bs broke another structure to the downside took price back down to about 13.2 dollars and the bs came back took price from that point and pushed price back to about 14.3 dollars so guys from that point again the boost took price from that point broke more structure to the upside and took price back to about 24 dollars breaking another structure to the upside and guys we're expecting a pullback sure we got a pullback and the bs took price from that 24 dollars push price back down to about 16 dollars so guys currently now what's our current position we just saw a break of structure to the upside guys we're expecting a pullback but guys until this swing that gave us this iii is taken out then we're still on a positive phase so guys to the million dollar question what's our current position on the okb theta price market chart on our major structure, we just saw a break of structure to the upside. Expecting a pullback, sure we got a pullback because this was actually the swing that gave us this III and price have traded below it. So now price just broke structure again to the upside. So now we're on an impulsive phase. And on our minor structure too, we just broke structure to the upside. We're also on an impulsive phase. So guys, drop your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think? Do you think from this point price is trading? Price will have to come back to this demand zone demand zone 2 or demand zone 1 before breaking more structure to the upside or guys do you think from this point price is trading price will continue breaking structure 
to the upside so guys thank you for watching this video if you're new to this channel please subscribe like and put on the notification to be notified 